Alright folks, it's JP here. It is Friday, I want to say March 22nd. Does that sound about right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, I guess it's around noon, noon 30, somewhere in there. This gentleman, Mr. Missed... Alright, well, about 1 o'clock. <laughs> Mr. Leon right here called me yesterday evening, kind of late, and uh, weren't sure if there were bees in a tree or on the tree. But uh, came by just a little bit ago and verified that there's a about a three pound swarm or so, about 23 foot, feet up in this tree. I'm going to show you what it looks like in a second. I have my audience, Mr. Leon and Miss Caitlin, right here. And we're about to get into it. Hope you all enjoy the video. Good luck. <laughs> there they are. All right, we're going to try to throw a rope around them and shake them, and hopefully, we can get that queen and uh, get them situated. <laughs> That's the best case scenario. Give y'all fair warning. You know, if they get a little pissy, they could be kind of flying all around and mm -hmm. they want to, you know, even pop you. Generally speaking, though, some worms are kind of gentle. <laughs> no, seriously, because they, they don't have an established colony to defend. Okay, once they establish themselves and you have honey and babies. Now they got something to defend. I try not to drop the phone. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got it. So many branches. Yeah, it didn't fall back. Right? I can't even see the light. It's in a good spot. Fish are down. Yeah, exactly. And they're going to come out. I think I'm going to trim them in the small branches. These little branches are just killing me. Yeah, they they're kind of heading this way a little bit. Man, pick something low. Man, not not too far. I think they they're gonna land up on that oh, no. that tree right there. They'll show us in a minute where they're gonna land. They landed on that magnolia. Oh yeah. Man, they're about the same height. Yeah, almost. About the same height. Yeah. You must realize that that's better. Be, better. be back at it again here, folks. <laughs> Twenty-seven feet up, I'd say. Where are they all? I got to try to figure this one out. more promising folks. Definitely. Well they more interested in the box. Yeah, that's what it's like. Somebody going in already or, or they're wanting to go in and she can very well follow. Well, they're they're definitely young, huh? Yeah they're digging the box. I mean you're not scared of them at all, huh? No. 
Do they land on you? Yeah, sometimes they'll land on you. They like when you perspire, you know, they bring the salt and sweat. This is how it normally is when I shake the swarm. Yeah, you can, you can deal with them like this. Every now and again they look, get on the ruling and sting you, but this is this is the norm right here. This swarm's making me sweat. They're yeah, yeah, making they, me work for it, man. They like that night, don't you? <laughs> yeah, they do. Yeah, that's pretty. This, this is a stubborn swarm. If I ever fooled one, it was stubborn. This was it. Um, <laughs> now they're trying to go back up that kind of. Yeah, well, I'll just shake them again. <laughs> Do you normally find big colonies like this in the neighborhood? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? This is their time of the year for this. Okay. Sometimes you get them bigger than this. Yeah? Yeah. Twice as big. Twice as big? Oh, yeah. Sometimes. A lot of bees. Sometimes even bigger than that. Man, man, man. Do they produce a lot of honey? Yeah. Yeah? Well, you, know, you got to get them established first in a couple boxes. Uh -huh. What's it looking like up there? Less? Ah. Way, way less. Yeah, way, way less. less. Yeah. They got decent bit. Yeah, they following up on that box. So. Uh-huh. Oh yeah! Yeah, they're on the bottom. I think your little man likes bees too. <laughs> See when they like this stuff? They don't have a hive to defend, you know? You can, you can even pick them up with your hand like this. Yeah! Uh, so you can do this here? Oh man, I'm right. Like that, see? I never thought you could touch them like that, just like with your bare hands. Yeah, well, you know, when they sting, they, if they lose their stinger, they die, you know? Right, so they're not trying so, to sting yeah, like that. They, they, they warn you a lot of times before they sting you. What they do? Would you want to ask me, Leon? Would they sting me if I touch them like that? If I grab no, I'll them. show you what to do. You just kind of, come on. Okay. Just kind of, use your hand as like a brake. You don't want to push them up against them. Done it. Daddy! That is a trip. Oh, this is a trip. Oh, that's a trip. You should have taken a picture. We still have a lot of We got it done, folks. The bees were definitely a little touchy. They were in the backyard, maybe up on that tree branch, about 23, 23 feet or so, I guess. And, uh, man, I shook them in the, and the air just filled with them. They flew out to the to the front yard and looked like they were going to land in a tree on the other side of the fence. And then it looked like they were going to land on a house. And then they landed up on a magnolia tree about 27, 28 feet up. Yeah. Uh, I was cutting little branches. I was shaking them. We went through that several times. And finally, I guess the queen uh, went in the box with a good bit of them. And so they've been enjoying the box and they've gravitated to it. And they've been settling in. So uh, I think we all enjoyed the show today. Yep, yeah, I did. With Leon and Caitlin. Experience of a lifetime. And they were big help too. We all and the bees were real gentle, so they got a chance, you know, to pick some up and learn something. Yeah, look, look at them and have fun with them. So yeah. I'll be back at dark to seal them up, and we'll take them to a place where they can be bees. Yeah, and we're not gonna kill them. That's the great thing. That's right. They're beautiful. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Another one from JP. Caitlin and Leon. Hope y'all having a good day because we sure are. Take care.